Good evening. We're outside police headquarters, and the lack of health insurance for anybody is scary, but especially for this police officer who was injured while trying to protect a government official back in August. But despite all this, the city's policy is very clear, and with all this uncertainty moving forward, the family, as well as Officer Beretta, are receiving a lot of donations. Got a pull with your right arm to turn. Video shared with Fox 13 shows Officer Kevin Beretta's recovery it's efforts. First in a wheelchair and then on crutches. Mobile, but not fully able to return to work, says his lawyer. He's got to be focused on recovery. Officer Beretta has been out of work since his injury sustained back on August 15th. He was working motorcade detail for the vice president during her visit to Seattle when he was thrown from his motorcycle, falling 60 feet to I-5, sustaining injuries that originally left him in critical condition. You gotta understand, he fell off of a bridge, a 60-foot bridge, and had it not been for his physical prowess, this is a person who worked out, who physically took care of themselves, he wouldn't have survived. And he's lucky that he didn't get run over by a car. So it's going to just take a great deal of time for him to recover. He can't right now go back part-time and work at the police department. That's where his city health insurance benefits come into play. Because it's now coming up on six months and he hasn't returned to the job, the city can legally drop him from his benefits. The city says it's tried to get him back for light desk duty, something his doctor wouldn't clear him for. In a statement, a city spokesperson said, our city provided benefits are based on best practices, medical insurance carrier contracts and are ratified in agreements negotiated with the unions representing our employees. The city has a duty to administer our policies consistently. In an effort to help Beretta and his family, multiple organizations have stepped in, including the Bellevue Police Foundation. Well, I've been really touched by the outpouring of support that we've seen. Violet Nolan is the president and executive director of BPF. She says as soon as the officer was injured, they immediately started fundraising. It's a little bit of over $60,000 has been raised for the Beretta family so far. Nolan says the Beretta family can use the money however they see fit. She says along with other organizations, including the Bellevue Police Guild and the Police Benevolent Association, they've come up with enough money to help him pay for outside insurance. We are uh, currently, we just voted to give the family an additional set of funds to help pay for their COBRA payments. And as for the original crash that injured Officer Beretta, that is still under investigation. As for the fundraisers, multiple ones have been set up. We've got links on our webpage. Outside Bellevue Police Headquarters, Dave Detling, Fox 13 News.